Hey, what's going on? This is Reverend Cook, and um, I wanted to come to you today, and I, and I want to answer one of my frequently asked questions. Um, how do I get started playing shout music? Now, I want to start you in the key that almost everybody I know starts playing shouts in. We're going to go to the key of A flat. And first, I'm going to start you off with the bass line. And it goes like this. All right. So we're going to start off with the A flat, C, D flat, D, E flat, F, G flat, G, A flat. Okay, so. That is the uh, typical shout. Now you want to know how to play it all the way up into different octaves. It starts off on, on the one, so you have one, three, four, sharp to four, five, six, dominant seven, seven and one or eight okay so all right so you have that so i was kind of playing these chords kind of rhythmically so you're going to start off with a b flat a c a e flat and an A flat. And you have a, the uh, second chord is going to be a G flat, a B flat, D flat, a F, and an A flat. So in your practice time, just start off practicing. I'm doing like once I get to that C is where I'm sparking the first chord so okay so I'm going and once I get to the E flat is where I'm changing there Just, so just kind of get used to playing that, start it out slow, start out working with that left hand first, and then incorporate your right hand. Now just start off with those simple chords. All right, I want to show you the second pattern that you want to learn when you're learning uh, shout music. The second pattern is right here. So basically what I'm doing, I'm going to do a, a A flat and a E flat. And what I'm going to do is, so I'm going to have this E flat, E flat, F, G flat, F, E flat, all while I'm holding that A flat. So, and it's going to flow like this. And what it's going to do is it's going to keep your left hand in rhythm so your right hand can do some other stuff. So All right. So So let's talk about some stuff that your right hand can do while you're holding this down. So first you can do, so all I'm doing, I'm doing, I'm going to hit some octave A flats and I'm going to kind of play around and grace this B, B flat to this B. And I'll probably also add that E flat in there. Okay. So.
and then it'll free you up after that to do some different type of tricks. So, so let me just um, go with that because that's probably the first one that I really started working with. So, so I'm going to grace off that G flat to the A flat. So G flat, A flat. It's going to sound like that. To a G flat, E flat, D, D flat, B, A flat. So and you can kind of play around with it and like do some different type of stuff and do some different type of, of, of rhythms. One time I did something like like this. I did an E flat and an A flat. And I had my thumb close to that D. So I could fall right on that D. And I pivoted right to this D flat and this G flat. So I just wanted to give you some some uh, right hand techniques that you can kind of work out so just kind of play with it and do some different type of stuff I'm gonna go ahead I'm, I'm about to turn on it it's a little corny beat I'm gonna play a shout beat and I'm gonna play uh, the uh, two different patterns that I just showed you all right so let me get this beat going real quick here we go. It's going to be at about 120 BPM, which is a, a decent level shot. Here we go. It's the first pattern. flat a flat B and it's just so wide open you can do so many different things with these patterns I just kind of wanted to give you some different things